yn enw tad a'r mab a'r ysbryd glan. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, although unable to worship physically together in church, through the strength that Christ gives us, we can celebrate with the joy of the Holy Spirit that great commandment of love. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you. No secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us knowledge of your truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and love. And make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice you shall judge your neighbour. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbour. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbour, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbour as yourself. I am the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. 
love you, Lord, my strength. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praised be the God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain, but though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God, who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a perf pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, life is becoming increasingly complicated and difficult for many of us. We are all fatigued with coronavirus. Being in another period of lockdown is making life a struggle on many different levels for many different people and we mustn't forget the real suffering, worrying and loss still experienced by so many people during this pandemic. There have been many changes imposed on us during the year and there are changes ahead of us too. In times like these, it can be difficult to see the wood for the trees, to remember the really important things in life, what really matters. Jesus was a person who knew how to go to the heart of the matter. This capacity of Jesus is clear from his response to the question put to him by one of the Pharisees in today's Gospel. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? In the time of Jesus, there were known to be 613 commandments in the Jewish law, and the potential here to miss the wood for the trees was enormous. An obsession with the detail of regulations could result in people ignoring what really matters. 
Jesus answered the Pharisees his question by going straight to the heart of the Jewish law. He was asked if there was one greatest commandment, but in reply, he named the second greatest commandment as well. The first commandment, loving the Lord your God with all your heart and soul, is inseparable from the commandment of loving your neighbour as yourself. For Jesus, what God wants from us above all else is love. There is no genuine love of God unless it finds expression in love of our neighbour. Love of neighbour takes for granted a healthy self-love, recognising and appreciating ourselves as fundamentally good because we are created in the image and likeness of God. God is love. And God longs for us. He loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus Christ, so that we can know him. This love which gives rather than takes, which forgives rather than condemns, includes rather than keeps outside, is ultimately taken outside and fixed to a cross by the nails of people who fear its inclusivity. But this love is stronger than death and lives in our souls, lives in our hearts and lives in our minds, enabling us to follow that one great commandment. Loving others as ourselves means having their best interest at heart. And sometimes loving someone means knowing straight away what needs to be done to help them. Sometimes loving our neighbour means staying at home. On other occasions it means puzzling through a situation, struggling with it, until it becomes clearer what would be in their best interest. What really matters is love. A whole love, like that we can show for God, for one another, and for ourselves. Keep safe. Keep in touch. Keep the faith. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he arose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus gave us the, com the commandment to love, to put God before everything and to love our neighbour in the same way and to do the same to the same degree that we care for ourselves. Let us offer him our hearts and our prayers. 
for ourselves and for all those who are in need at this time. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Church, that the glory of Christ be proclaimed as we seek to fulfil the great law of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Bishop June and all religious leaders as they work to bring hope to a world which has been turned upside down and traumatised by the effects of the global pandemic. May their inspiration give us the courage and strength that we need at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all politicians and everyone involved in local and national governance. May they exercise wisdom, understanding and thoughtfulness in order to bring about the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for us all as we try to control the spread of the coronavirus through whatever means are available to us. May we protect the vulnerable, care for the sick and have compassion on those who are experiencing the frustrations of lockdown. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for families struggling to cope with difficulties which seem to have no straightforward answers. May they find the peace and practical solutions which they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are ill in mind, body and spirit. May they be comforted consoled and restored to full health. And we pray for the lonely and the bereaved. Grant them the power of your healing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the recently departed. May they be received into the love that is everlasting together with those whose anniversaries of death occur this week. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we ask you to hear our prayers and in your great love Help us to spread your love in our world. Amen. Jesus said, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
we celebrate together the gifts and grace of God. We take this bread, we take this wine, to follow Christ's example and obey his command. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty, Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. He is your eternal Word. Through him you created the universe and formed us, men and women, in your own image. You sent him to be our Saviour, born of Mary through the power of the Spirit, on the cross he opened wide his arms of mercy, embracing us in perfect love, destroying the power of evil, suffering and death. On the first day of the week you raised him from the dead and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Through him you have given us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us your own sons and daughters. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, through him accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that by the power of your spirit these gifts of bread and wine may become for us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come in glory. Therefore, Father, Remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gift to us, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us who share this bread and this cup. Strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us and all your people into the glorious kingdom of your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exult the name of our God. Give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. Gracious God, your Son Jesus Christ fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace. And in all our weakness, sustain us by your true and living bread, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. There will be a live feed of uh, the Eucharist next Sunday, and there will be no services for the the next two Sundays. So next Sunday we will be live feeding again and uh, the following Sunday there will be a service of remembrance for Remembrance Sunday. There will be no services during the week until Monday the 9th of November. If you do need any support, any help or if you just want somebody to talk to during these um, next couple of weeks Please don't hesitate to get in touch and just uh, say or ask whatever it is that you need. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you and keep watch over you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look lovingly on you and give you peace. Abendeth you, Hortachiach, 
y tad, y mab ar y sbridla. A fôn i'ch plith ac a drigo gyda chi a phob un sy'n anwyd i chi yn wastad. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.